Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach. I'm your host Stacey Calloway and today we're joined by members of the Michigan Crossroads Council. I have Brandon Kathman from North Oakland Scouts and Casey Houlihan from Troop 128. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah, it's okay. a really cool event right here. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. Talk to me about the Summer Service Project or the Summer of Service. So the Summer of Service is actually a national initiative within the Scouts. You know, cheerful Service has been a keystone of our program for well over a hundred years and we really want to celebrate that legacy and give back to our communities wherever we can and however we can. Okay, and so you brought uh, Brandon, or actually you brought Casey in today, right? Yes. To talk about his uh, project. So talk about the Eagle Project with us. So. My Eagle Project is going to be, I'll be building a parking lot up at South Hill Camp, next to South Hill Campsite up at Agawam. Um, not, it's not like going to be a pavement, but it's, it's just going to be millings. Uh, a lot more intensive than I thought it was going to be. You know, it's just like, ah, oh, parking lot, easy enough. A lot more paperwork involved than I thought it was going to be. So, okay. yeah. And what does the paperwork entail? Like, how do you get put something like this together? The paper can be very confusing, and it, it's very technical. It's very like you know, dot your eyes, cross your t's, all that kind of stuff. And it, it it's almost it, it's basically the same stuff that a, an adult would do for their own project. Like if like if an, at a parking lot building company, if they're building a parking lot or that, anything like that. Okay, so talk to me about the square footage of your project. So the square footage for the project is uh, in total about 4,000 square feet, uh, just the service area. And it goes from at least 200 feet long, 220 feet long from where it starts to all the way back to the top of the hill right before it goes down to the water. It's a pretty sizable parking lot back there. And did you give him this idea for the, the summer service project or he just came up with it on his oh, own? Oh, no. No, the, the, this one. <laughs> Uh, th th this was all him and really we, we love to see that with our scouts when they take that initiative and are able to identify that need in the community. And uh, now, uh, Casey, that, uh, that parking lot is intended to improve access to the community chapel out there, correct? Yes, so people will sometimes do shoots out of the chapel and so uh, there is actually a pathway from the chapel that is behind South Hill to this parking lot which will make it, uh, give people easier access to the chapel, you know, just park the truck right there, unload off all your equipment, easy peasy right there. And it also just keeps people from parking on the grass in South Hill campsite, gives them an actual place to put their cars instead of destroying the land up at South Hill. Right, and so that way instead of being in the mud. So the whole purpose of it was to make it easier for them but also to preserve the land. Oh yeah. Right. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And then we were talking about the fact that you've been in the Scouts pretty much your whole life. Talk to me about that. I, I actually joined when I was a youth okay. and on completing the Scouts BSA program, uh, earning my own Eagle, I actually started volunteering uh, with the organization and eventually wound up serving as a professional. So altogether I believe it's been about 20 years, uh, 20 nice. years spent with scouting. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, it's, and I'm sure it's gone by quickly. Talk to me about what does it take to, um, to actually become an Eagle? Like, or to get an eagle, like, is it a badge or what is that? Talk to me about that. Well, I'll uh, I'll give a basic overview, and then I think Casey perhaps ought to uh, you know, give my give memory. Some. My memory might be a little bit fresher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the youth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so the Eagle Scout is the uh, highest honor a youth can achieve within our program, and it is really more about the the journey than the destination. You know, in your time as a scout in the program on that path to Eagle, you, know, you will be expected to earn a number of merit badges, show a diversity of skill, uh, complete, of course, a, a service project for the benefit of the community, okay. and step up as a leader among your peers. I've, yeah. I've always watched it on television where, you know, how they have to rub two sticks together yeah. and all of that. Is it, is it that, or uh, what are well, some other things that... Well, each is troop that? is unique, but... Um, the main basis of acquiring Eagle is you have to go through each of the ranks, you know, Scout, Tenderfoot, Second Class, First Class, Star, Life, and then you get to Eagle after completing like the merit badges and then all the other rank requirements where you have to hold leadership positions. And then there's even stuff outside of the ranks that you can get. Um, you can even go above and beyond and get more merit badges than you need because 
there's definitely a lot of merit badges and there's even more programs um, in scouting like um, NYLT that had them have right here, National Youth Leadership Program or uh, training, where we train youth how to be leaders uh, in their troops or just in life in general. Then you have or the Arrow Scouting's National Honor Society uh, right there. That's the old flap, but you know, no okay lodge. That, but that's a whole other thing. It sounds intense. Like, what makes you what makes you do this? I mean, is it does it give you a certain amount of pride? I mean, I'm looking at all of the badges <laughs> on your on your shirt. <laughs> Uh, well, it's actually just a lot of fun. Like, even though you're doing like a lot of work, but it, it's it's cheerful service because you're out there with your friends doing this stuff. You're not just doing backbreaking labor, and there's no reward. Like, the reward is seeing that the work that you do has an effect, a positive effect, and that you get to do this with people that you're friends with, and then you build these relationships that can last years. I'm sure Brandon has friends. <laughs> from youth that he might still talk to every now and then. It's just like that's why people stick in scouting because the people and the opportunities that we're able to go for. And so I'm, I'm sure that's what you hope to get from the Eagle Project that you're, that you're working on right now. Yeah. Yeah, just getting the rank and just looking, being able to look back on my scouting journey and just going, yeah, I did that. Time to take what I learned here and bring it on to the next part of life. To the next part of life. And you mentioned that you just graduated from high school. Yes. Which high school did you graduate from? Uh, Lake Orion High School. Okay. And so what's what's next for you? Uh, I will be going to Motion Picture Institute. It's a uh, trade school for film down Troy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So big thing. So that way we'll be doing that. And then, of course, how does it make you feel that he's, you know, about to finish his uh, summer project, right? And he's been through the ranks as well. So how does that make you feel as one of the leaders? Well, I, I really feel with our, uh, within our organization, what sets us apart from every other youth-serving institution you know, really uh, available is that core tenet of youth leadership. Uh, I have yet to encounter any other uh, organization, any other institution that provides you know, the opportunities that yeah. Scouts does for young, young men and women to step up own their leadership and own their experience within the program. So it's tremendously rewarding to see uh, young young men and women like Casey you know, step up and succeed and, and lead their peers. Now, was it hard during the pandemic getting more scouts to join? Uh, well, it was hard doing anything scouting related in the pandemic because, you know, scouting, you're supposed to be out in the woods with your troop or go to troop meetings. and but and do things like physical things you know these are very hands-on skills a lot of them that you learn scouting that you really can't do online so there is this definitely just a uh, scouting gotta be hands-on right it, yeah it, it was okay. it was absolutely a time that was defined by innovation okay yeah. uh, that's a know, great way to put it we, we we really needed to step up you know hone our program be proactive and find new and engaging ways to deliver uh, to the youth that we serve. Wonderful. And so you guys were virtual for a short time, right? Uh, uh, Technically. <laughs> uh, yeah, it depends on the troop, again, because okay. each troop is different. They, they all go by the same rules, but you know, everything's a little bit different depending on you know, your adult leaders or your uh, senior patrol leader in your troop, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, so now that, I mean, I know we still have a pandemic that's raging on with the Delta variant, so how do you guys plan to to get more kids or more um, teens to be involved as a scout? Well, like I've said, we, we've learned a great deal and we've developed creative uh, solutions mm -hmm. you know, to many of the challenges that we face. Okay. Uh, we have made it a point as a district to not allow those challenges to become obstacles uh, to the scouting experience. So we are, at this very time, uh, looking forward to our fall recruitment season. A lot of our Cub Scout packs are coming back uh, they take a break during the summer, uh, so they'll be starting in these next few weeks. You know, we'd love to encourage anyone with an interest in scouting, okay. you know, from kindergarten all the way up through uh, through twelfth grade. Yeah, uh, we would love to have you know folks join us in this incredible experience. Okay, so you did mention that you have fall recruitment. Do you have a website, or do you have a particular day and time for them to? A absolutely, okay. absolutely. Uh, interested families can look at BeAScout.org. Uh, that will allow you to type in your zip code and see all of the local units in your area. 
You know, kindergarten through fifth grade, you'll be looking at the Cub Scout packs. You know, fifth grade on through twelfth grade, you'll be looking at the troops. Uh, even beyond that, we have some venture crews in the area that focus on that high adventure element. And that's for our 14-year-olds and older. Uh, but they're, they're you know, looking at, at even more uh, you know, challenging and exciting program opportunities. Right. And I'm sure once they see the summer service um, projects that you've done in the past, maybe that'll get more people to, to join, right? Yeah. So we certainly wish you all the best. Um, do you have anything else that's coming up? As, no, you're going to be pretty much working on that, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's really just Eagle stuff and then whatever else I need to do, all the cheerful service and uh, Boy Scouts and everything, yeah. Okay, and when's your anticipated completion date for your Eagle well, project? The project will hopefully be done by the end of this week. Okay. The paperwork will be done, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, definitely give us some pictures and you know yeah. let us know how everything goes. Okay, so Brandon, talk to me about what upcoming projects do you have going on? Oh, well, across the state there are dozens and dozens of, of summer of service projects currently being undertaken. Uh, we're hoping to have it all wrapped up by October 31st, but you know, just to cite some examples, you know, we have other Eagle projects. I know Brooke Muzzy's. Yep. Uh, also, also at Agawam is you know, rapidly nearing completion if it isn't done already. It actually is. I completed it just this past week. That's right, because you yeah. were out there. Yeah, yeah I was. And yeah. What, what, what kind of project was that? Oh, well, she's installing benches and clearing another trail for the community to use. Uh, beyond that, I know we had uh, Jeffrey Ellingsworth uh, just put in a playhouse at Grace Centers of Hope in Pontiac. Uh, even further afield, I know in Memphis there's a troop that's scrubbing fire hydrants and repainting them so they'll be more visible to the firefighters. Wow. We got folks stuffing backpacks for back to school. It, it's really incredible to, to see. So how do we, as just the regular public, um, the general public, figure out what type of projects you guys have going on? Do you, do you list them? Do you guys, um, of course you're here now, but what are some other ways that we can find out about what you're doing around the community? Well, within North Oakland, uh, or the Pontiac Manitou District, we do have a Facebook page. You know, more than welcome to come check that out. We typically post yeah. uh, when we have exciting projects going on. You're also uh, more than welcome to call the district office if you'd like to submit uh, a possible project idea uh, for the scouts to follow up on. That number is 947-886-5736. All right, well we certainly want to wish you the best of luck with your Eagle project and thank, thank you. you both so much for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Pleasure's ours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll do it for this edition of Orient Outreach. I'm your host, Stacey Calloway. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.